Senator Richard Blumenthal says veterans wounded in combat are in need of better prosthetics and orthotics. And today he spoke to some University of Hartford graduate students who could help make this happen if federal funding is approved. Fox Connecticut's Tony Terzi has the story of one University of Hartford student's groundbreaking research. Tony. Allison, the University of Hartford, which graduated its first prosthetics and orthotics class last May, is one of 12 universities competing for the $10 million that would become available if Senator Blumenthal's bill passes. The University of Hartford's Department of Rehabilitative Sciences is working on designing the world's most biomimetic or human-made finger ever created. It looks and acts more like a human finger than any other finger uh, so far. Casey Beasley, a graduate student, has made 12 prototypes. The impetus for developing a more natural, flexible finger? Starting to immerse myself in the field, if you see functions of hands like that, you know, you begin to critique them and wonder what's the best for the patient population at hand. And how immersed is Miss Beasley? Between 12 prototypes um, and six credits, two semesters of research, it's been about 200 labor hours to develop this finger. She's the uh, principal investigator on two outgoing grants uh, to, uh, to get funding for professional machining of the finger, and we're going to make a full hand out of it. So that's what's going to power one finger, and we may be able to work it so that it's an underactuated design. So we what have does that mean, underactuated? Less motors to power more parts, basically. Which is great for conserving space inside the finger, making it more functional. Local veterans injured in combat have aided UHART in its research as patient models. They have perhaps the best clarity as to what they need and how our students can learn to accommodate their needs. Uh, most effectively. Another vet now on board, Greg Karen, a Marine from Ellington who lost his legs in an IED explosion in Afghanistan in November of 2011. I'm astonished to now know that we have a facility like this that's going to help better myself and other veterans who have sacrificed uh, you know, body parts. Dr. Winninger says he expects that the work that Casey and other students have been involved with at UHART will be available for publication within a year. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox, Connecticut.